up guys phoenix here and today we're going to be working on rose quartz from steven universe part one so i was doing the blueprint downloads before and you guys said that you would rather me do the pixel art tutorials back again so i'm going to try it out again see how it does for you guys <clears throat> let me know if this is what you guys wanted i'm just trying to get you guys happy so um for the start of it what we're going to do is get about 175 by 100 um by 175 um for your spacing and I'm gonna go in the middle of it. So you should have about 80 to the left and about 80 to the right of where we're starting right now. And I'm gonna pick a point a little bit to the left of our center to start. And we're gonna go up five blocks from there. One, two, three, four, five. You can get rid of that center block right there. I just wanted to center out my cameraman. As you can see, we put our five up a little bit to the left of the center because she's not um, centered out with where her torso starts. But I do want the middle of the cameraman to capture like the left and the right equally. So from there, we're going to up and to the right. Ten vertical. Up and to the left. Four singles. And we're just shaping out the torso right now. So... Um, like we always do, we do the frame and stuff, and her hair is a bit poofy, and it's going to be separate later. But right now, I'm going to focus on the inner body. So we're going to open to left, like I said, four singles. One, two, three, four. Up to left, two vertical, two times in a row. One, two. One, two. Up to left, eight vertical. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And from that eight vertical, we can actually bring her first arm down back to the floor. So we go to the bottom block in the eight vertical, and we're gonna go down to left three vertical, down to left four vertical, one, two, three, four, down to left two vertical. Down to left three single. One, two, three. And we're really, really close to the ground right now. So all we're gonna do is kind of just mix in verticals and singles. So we're gonna go down to left two vertical. Down to left two single. Down to left two vertical. Down to left one single. Down to left two vertical again. And then down to left two single. And that's getting the left arm or her right arm. It's left to us because we're looking at it from the front view to the ground. So let's go back to where we had the eight vertical now. And on the top of it, we're gonna start going up and to the right. So put your placement block to the right side or the top is fine. We're gonna go up and to the right three vertical. One, two, three. Up and to the right two vertical. One, two, up and to the right, two singles. One, oh, I messed up there. One, two, up and to the right, two flat. Down and to the right, two flat. Down to the right, one single. Down to the right, seven flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up and to the right, three flat. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two flat. And some of these hair things, I think when I'm done, it's, some of it's gonna be swapped over into um, magenta for the hair, but I'm just doing framework right now. So while I want it to look like the frame, I'm gonna keep it as coal. And then when I tell you to switch it over later, we'll switch it over into magenta if it needs to be. So anyways, from the two single right here, we're going to go down to the right, two single. Down to the right, two flat. And from the left block in the two flat, so this one right here, we're going to put one underneath it just to get this little R shape. And then we're going to go to the right block and continue going up and to the right from there, three singles. So one, two three from there we're gonna up and to the right two flat up and to the right three flat down 
down and to the right two singles and once again this area right here is probably going to be swapped over into magenta so if you're looking at the thumbnail and it's not black right here um, i will swap it over later but for now we're going to leave it like this because we're not worried about the hair yet anyways we're going to down to right five flat one two three four five down to right ten flat one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I'm gonna need to reposition the cameraman soon because as you can see um, the, the the like the view is really close so when we're doing the hair we're not gonna have room to see it so let's go up and to the right one single now down to the right three singles one two three and this is gonna be like the armpit part of her arm going straight to the ground, not really the um, other parts. So if you're wondering why the arm looks funny, it's because we didn't do the other half yet. And we'll go and do the other half right after this touches the ground. So let's go down to the right two vertical. Down to the right three vertical. We're gonna do that one, two, three, four times in a row. So placement block, one, two, three. We're gonna do that four times. So this is one, one, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, that's three. One, two, three, that's four. Perfect. We're then gonna go down to right, two vertical. Down to the right, four single. One, two, three, four. And from there, on the fourth one, we're gonna put two to the right of it. Whoops, I messed up there. We're gonna put two pieces of coal to the right of it like so and those two pieces of coal are gonna be used for two different things so for the middle one right here we're gonna put two on top and ten below it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we're then gonna go down to the left four vertical and I should touch the ground one two three four perfect now from the top of that 13 right there, we're gonna go up and to the left, two vertical. Up and to the left, one single. Up and to the left, two vertical again. And then up and to the left, one single. And now we need to bring this second block in the two flat we placed to the ground as well. And it's gonna be a gap here, and that gap is gonna be filled with hair later because it's gonna be her hair covering her back. But for now, it's just gonna look like an arm. So from this two block right here, we're gonna go to the one on the right and put one underneath it. We're then gonna go down to the right one single. Down to the right two vertical. Down to the right one single again. Down to the right two vertical, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. And then to finish it off, we're gonna go down to right five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now here's for a piece of hair um, we're gonna start. I'm gonna bring out magenta because I think that's the color I use, magenta wool. And if you're wondering, I haven't made the switch over to concrete yet because this pixel art is fairly old. So in my newer pixel arts, we'll probably be using concrete since concrete looks better. But for these, we're going to continue using wool. If you want to switch over to magenta concrete, I think it looks kind of the same. Yeah, so you can switch over to magenta concrete if you want. It actually looks a lot smoother. They made wool look more coarse. But I'm not using concrete yet, so I'm going to stick to wool for these builds. Anyways, going back to the top where we had the 10 flat right here before we started the arm. We had one single right there. And what I want you to do is go to the second single, so this one as you start going down, and go up and to the right, one magenta wool from it. So you should have something that looks like this. Now some of these blocks, like I said earlier, will convert over into magenta later. We're just gonna ignore it for now. So from this magenta wool, we're gonna go up and to the right, two flat, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right two flat, two times in a row again. One, two, place and block, one, two. So we have this pattern, it's the same thing over and over again. One, two, two, one, two, two. 
and we're almost at the top and we'll start bringing down the second arm now so we're gonna up and to the right one single up and to the right two flat and then up and to the right four singles one two three four now the fourth single is gonna be a little bit different where we're gonna add two extra blocks at the top of it and going down to the right from it we're gonna switch back into our coal blocks because this is the arm coming from the hair so we're gonna go down to the right from the bottom block of here three flat just like that now from that three flat we're gonna start going down to the right and we're gonna bring this to the ground and that will be the end of her arms and then we can start like facial detail or we can just start making the hair frame I think I want to do the hair frame first just so we can see how big the pixel art shapes out to be just in case some of you guys didn't give it adequate spacing you guys will know that you need to move your pixel art or something like that just based off of where the hair starts off so um, just for the record to the left of the arm over there we should have a little bit more space and to the right of the arm we should have a bit more space too because we haven't even started the hair so going down from the three flat we're going down to right one single two times in a row down to the right two flat down to the right one single so we have two one one two one oh no it's three sorry three one one two one we're then gonna go down to the right two vertical Down to right one single. Down to right two vertical. And we're gonna do that three times in a row. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Had to breathe for a second. One, two. Place and block. One, two. Place and block. One, two. Never take a break from stuff, guys. When they take a break from pixel arts, I'm always so slow when I get back to it. And then I'm trying to just keep up and make sure my brain is still fresh. Anyways, we're gonna down to right now. One single. Down to right, two vertical, three times in a row again. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's three times. And I keep missing. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I should give the channel to somebody else to do. <laughs> so, so I'm so bad at it. Anyways, we're gonna go down to right, one single again. We're then gonna go down into the right two vertical and this time we're gonna do it four times in a row instead of three times and it's gonna get like a lot bigger so we're gonna have like the numbers getting in increasingly huge so that we can touch the ground so we're gonna go down to right two vertical four times in a row one two one two one two that's three and one two that's four we're now gonna go down to the right three vertical down to right two vertical down to right three vertical two times in a row one two three one two three and we should be close to the ground now so all we're gonna do is go down to right seven vertical and I should touch the ground one two three four five six and seven perfect Now we got the entire arm shaped out and we're not gonna start the face like I said. Instead, we're going to map out where we want the hair to start. So what we're gonna do is go back to the left side and take out the magenta wool. And at the start where the arm is on the ground, we're gonna put one magenta wool to the left here and just use that as a bridging point. I'm gonna move the cameraman back a little bit right now. So it's gonna take a quick second just to make sure um, there's more space. And I wonder why my cameraman looked so funny before. I think I just need to fly up more and also angle it down a little. That should be fine. And it's like you have to be very gentle with the, <laughs> the control stick. Because otherwise, if you move too much, you'll, the pixel just disappears. See, it just disappeared again. We're going to move back a little bit. There we go. And I have all these like weird birds and stuff outside my house sometimes, so they're chirping because it's early in the morning. 
Um, we're gonna move the cameraman a little bit more later. I just wanna make sure that the left side's at least included. Anyways, once we have this one single right here, we're gonna up and to the left, three singles from it. One, two, three. We're then gonna put a space to the left. And then two magentas to the left of that. From there, we're gonna go up and to the left, two flat. Down to the left, two flat. And then down to the left, three singles. One, two, three. Just like that. And actually, let me see real quick what the finished product was supposed to have. Like, was the frame. I forgot already. Did the frame have the entire thing in black or was it all a magenta? The, the frame was in black. Okay, so we're going to fix that up right now for you guys. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do the other parts of the hair, but we're going to fix up the frame that I missed by going to the left of this bottom block. So this bottom block right here, all the way on the left, we're going to go to the left of it. Five singles. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, we're going to put three pieces of coal going straight up. And that's where the left side of the hair is going to start. Now the frame or the pixel art can go a little bit like five more blocks to the left here, but that's all we're going to need for left space. Let's figure out how much for the right space we need. So from this three vertical, about five more, five or six more is all we need to the left here. So if you're measuring out your space for your build, that's all you need to know for the left side. Height wise, we still need to go up like 175. But for the right side, let's go all the way to the right side of the arm. And let's measure that out just so you guys can uh, make sure you have the right build going on here or the right building space. So on the right side where we have the seven vertical on the side of the arm, we're going to count three up from the bottom and put one magenta to the right of that third block. We're then going to go up and to the right, one single, up and to the right, two flat, up and to the right, nine flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Down to the right, three singles. One, two, three. Down to the right, two flat. And then down to the right, one single. And then it touches the ground there. We're gonna move our cameraman to the right a little bit, like I said, because now we're missing some of the right side. And I wanna catch that in the camera view. So all we're gonna do now is from this one single on the floor, we're gonna switch over to our placement blocks and let's put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flat pieces of placement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let me just make sure that's correct. One, two, three, yep, nine. And on the 10th block, we're gonna take our magenta wool and put one. And then on the 11th block, we're gonna put our coal block. Now on that coal block, we're gonna need about seven or eight more to the right. So let me reframe the cameraman again. And this is still a bit funky right now. So I think this is enough space. Hopefully it's enough space. It's like I have the camera turned a pretty weird angle right now. But that should be enough to cover the space. And I'm gonna build up a little bit. Let's add four to the top of that coal. One, two, three, four. So now it's five in length. And if we want to continue to frame, we would go to the left or the right side and continue adding up. Um, what I'm going to do is finish up with this magenta part right here by going up and to the left, four vertical from it. Up and to the left, two vertical, two times in a row. And then up and to the left, one single. And that's where we're going to just finish for today with some of the framing done. Next time, we're going to finish the hair by going fully around with it. And then we'll probably start some of the facial details. So this probably will take three or four parts just because I want to take my time with it because I haven't done tutorials in a while. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. This is Phoenix. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.